Hi, welcome to this price action analysis video with me, Jan Motab, Chief Market Analyst for Tio Markets. And we're going to look at pound USD today, but please remember that we do not provide investment advice. So you might want to pause the video, read through the disclaimer and only continue if you agree that we do not provide investment advice and all the material provided in this presentation is for educational purposes only. So thank you for taking time to read this through and proceed only if you agree. When pound USD was trading down here, I was saying that it's highly unlikely that the market will go beyond 130 level because it's a clearly, clearly a very important resistance level because of this important support here. Now the market tried to go above it quite a few times but failed. And now those of TO Markets traders that were following these videos were got excellent opportunities to integrate this into their own analysis and maybe take short trades and to benefit from this down move that um, occurred. When the market was trading here, I suggested it's more likely that the market now will go and break this support because lower highs mean usually the supports get broken. So this brings us to the current moment and the price indeed went all the way down to 127.11. So, but it actually now bounced back. So we have a bit of mixed signals here in this market. Um, cable rallied over to 28.63 level that used to be a resistance there and then failed to move higher again. So. Very interesting to see how this market react, is going to react from this on now. If we look at the bigger picture, we have market trading fairly close to an important support. It's a 38.2 Fibonacci level here. And we have also, if we take a sort of longer term view, we have these lows uh, connected, which brings us to a and gives us a trend line extension here. So we are the market is approaching levels where some buying might come in, but obviously we don't know yet. And there's quite a few uh, problems in the UK economy at the moment. Uh, COVID-19 cases are increasing day on daily basis. And the prime minister wants to have a Brexit without a trade agreement with EU. So that is causing lots of uh, different uncertainties in the UK economy and makes traders careful. But we love it. We actually love volatility because that gives us opportunities. So we have the market bouncing higher from this regression line here. Uh, buyers came in above this uh, support sort of area that I uh, drew in here, 26.71 to uh, 26.92. So they, they started buying earlier than this. But then again, the rally was uh, thwarted at the 28.63 level. So we might see more sideways action here before the market is ready to take uh, a new direction. At the moment, it is still in a downtrend, but there are some signs of buying coming in here. So I guess it's going to be a case where we just have to see what's likely to happen next. The key levels are there at 28.63. And obviously, market needs to take out this low of 27.12 in order to move lower when it comes actually fairly close to this potential support area down here and starts to approach also the rising trend line extension. So thank you for your time. If you like my material, maybe you want to do me a favor. And that favor would be you copying the URL and then posting it or pasting it to social media and telling your friends that there's really good material available from TO Markets. If you would like to do that, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And never trade without stops. That's, that's something that many traders forget. They forget that they have to be there tomorrow. The market's going to be there tomorrow. The question is, are you going to be there? Just use the stops to trade safe. Thank you. See you soon again.